All right, so let's move up the hill a bit more, and there should be another one or two over here we can fight. Mainly the reason I'm showing off all these fights is so that I can show off what happens when you get to level 10. But I'm also going to show off this fight because I forgot to show off in the last fight what the toxic slime effect is. And this is a pretty good battle to show it off since all these enemies are kind of healthy. So all I'm really going to do here is I'm going to open the attack with... Uh, the, yeah, just with Reynold there. And as you can see, I've actually poisoned two of the other enemies there. So now both of them will be taking poison damage over time. And what's more, with two-ply toilet paper, I won't have to worry about them um, getting knocked out of their stun from the poison damage. And the poison damage doesn't go away, unlike the fire. So this is this is just really good. And it's splash damage as well, so I'm not just attacking the one enemy, I'm attacking all enemies! <laughs> Can't stop this. And how much does the poison damage do again? I think it actually does a lot, so I can maybe actually attack this guy, and that assassin will get knocked out. Nope, not enough. Alright, well, in any case, Toxic Slime is a really good substitute for the attack bonus of the Jawbone of the Wolf. Because, like, yeah, it's just, it, it's incredible, really. And we're getting a lot of experience. We're going to get to level 10 in no time. And if not that, we'll soon max out our creepy card collection. Wasn't there another bird here somewhere? Did they, like, reset their position? Oh, there he is. Okay, that's weird. He somehow ended up on the other side. Alright, level 9. And, on top of that, we actually got all the cards we needed in order to complete our Creepy Treat card collection. Which means we got another new costume. So let's just check out the rest of those Creepy Treat cards then. So we got all of those. Got all of these. And we got all of those. Trying to avoid the very gross one there. So let's go back to costumes and we'll see what costume we got just now. We got the black cat. This one is a focus on special, and I don't really understand what that means. But in any case, this costume has a special combat ability called the cat's meow, which I'll go ahead and show off in the next battle when I get to it. Uh, it's really good, because it's basically scare on all enemies, and I will demonstrate it in the next battle. But for now, let's robot on back over to where we were, because now we've cleared out the town, pretty much. So now Sadie should actually have some new stamps for us, I think. Let's take a look. Okay, so she has the Vegetarian's Witch Brew, which is a better version of the poison, and the Bowl of Bloodshot Eyeballs, which, again, I don't know what Critical Strike damage is, and I still haven't really found out what that does, so I'm just going to assume, like, this lethal poison is a lot better. So I'll go ahead and buy that, and I'll get these other two later. Actually, the Headless Banshee is actually a really good stamp, because, as you can see, it's an auto-resurrect stamp. If the person equipped with it is KO'd, one turn after they have been KO'd, they will come back to life with all their HP. So it's basically an instant uh, life, too. Like, what would it be called in Final Fantasy terms? There's a particular spell for it. Life 3, actually? I don't know. In any case, we're just going to move on. Because now we're going to enter the corn maze. Oh, no. Alright, well, there's the monsters all around here. So, let's see what we can find out here. Well, there's a gate here. But no humans are allowed past this. Alright, so I will actually say this much. I do like this gate, because depending on the costume you wear he will actually say a few different things. So if I wear the ninja costume... Oh, no, this wasn't one of the ones he said it for. Huh. I know the ninja costume... I thought it was one of the ones he said different things for. Okay, I'm gonna try a few different ones, because I, I remember one of these he said something different for.
Come on, I know you say something different for one of these. Like, I know the one he definitely says something different for, but I thought he said something different for the ninja, because the ninja, he said, Aha, I thought you could sneak past me or something, but... I don't know. Alright, well, this one he does have a different message for. Or does he? He doesn't. Is it not until later? Okay, well, apparently I have to wait until later to see those extra messages, so never mind. Uh-oh, we've been spotted. A defector, though. Oh, he doesn't want to fight us. Well, that's a change! Okay, so they don't want Dorsilla with their world. Okay. Oh. I guess Big Bones is the big boss in... Pugeria... I can't remember the... Repugia. There we go. I remembered what it's called. And his friends are actually trapped within the maze. And we're going to get a Grubbin costume pattern? Interesting. Alright, well... No, uh, now I'm going to have to sort out the costumes again. That's what I get for messing around too much. Alright. But yeah, apparently his friends are trapped in this maze, so we're actually going to have to go find and free them. So let's just beat up a bunch of pumpkins instead. Get some extra candy. And let's start exploring the maze. So to start off, we're going to go in a bit slow here because there's lots of Repugians luring around here. Like this one. And now I'm going to show off the Black Hat in battle. Nice glowy eyes it has there. Alright. Oh man, these are level 10 enemies. Eh, we could take them. Two shamans though. Ooh. Hopefully that should take care of... Oh, actually one of them's poison now. Shit, that means Rotten Egg's not gonna work because poison counts as... Yeah. Well, I can use Rotten Egg on the Mystic then keep him from casting any bad magic. And then I guess I'm just going to have to two-ply this shaman here. So that shaman's going to end up healing the mystic. But the, at least they're stunned and won't get in a, another attack edgewise. And if I'm lucky, maybe I'll be able to use the cat's special and get some really good hits in. Okay, I was wondering why he was flashing, but yes, it's because... It, yes, yes, it's because he's stunned. Okay. I don't know why I was so confused there for a while. Alright, so everyone except the Mystic takes poison damage because only the Mystic is not poisoned for some reason. They can't have poison immunity, can they? Actually, do the Mystics have poison immunity? I'm going to have to pay closer attention to the next few battles and actually determine if they do. Alright, well let's use the special and see if we can scare any of them away. Well, we scared one of them away. That's a start. So we'll go ahead and attack that guy. And we'll attack the shaman now. The poison won't kill him, unfortunately, but... Reynolds should now be set up to finish the job. So, on another slight topic change here, has anyone else been noticing how weird the camera is, particularly for, like, the battles? Like, the overworld and everything, it's fine. The camera's perfectly fine. But then you just, like, you get into battles, and then just sometimes when you're using special abilities and whatnot, it's just the camera decides to just go kind of wonky to one side or something, like... Oh, well, your special attack is focused over here, but I should probably switch back to the uh, ninja costume for Reynold. I, I, I don't know. Something about the camera in battle just seems weird, because, like, it'll either focus in completely the wrong direction or something else. I don't know. All right, knock away these thorns, and here's the first Grumman to save. Well, geez, sorry we have to walk. But we get a Grubbin mask. Uh, can we actually just smash this? We can, alright. I actually never sh used those shortcuts for some reason, huh. 
Alright, well, we can go around this way, and we'll be able to find some more stuff over here. So there is a grubbin, not, not a grubbin, a crest whaler here. Alright, so I actually did pay a bit closer attention here, and yeah, um, the toxic slime only works on the enemies that are taking the splash damage. So yeah, I, I actually didn't realize that. Uh, it really is just the enemies that are actually taking damage from splash that get poisoned, so that's interesting detail to now take note of. As you can see, we have quite a lot of these crest whalers flying around in here. We better take caution. Whoa. How do we hit them all the way from over there? Another treasure coffin here. <laughs> I forgot for a moment I was recording again. Oops. Uh, but yeah, that was a... <laughs> what is there to say? It's a freaking corn maze. I just have to walk through here until I eventually find my way. Another crest whaler over there we'll have to deal with eventually. And I think over here... Uh, I missed a pumpkin. Gotta hit every single pumpkin. And here's the next of the grubbins we have to save. Now we get some dirty socks. Ew. Beat up these thorns, and let's go explore the areas we have yet to see. Now, that crest whaler down there, I don't think he actually moves. He's just always standing in a corner like that. And that's that. So, there should be one last one in this section of the maze, just over here. I guess he's just walking in circles. Alright, so I think this corner of the maze is clear now. That looks like it, yes. So now we just have to come over here to this last corner here. I think this is going to end the dead end, so I can clean this out of candy right now. Or, no, this isn't actually the dead end. Is it the dead end? Well, it's kind of a dead end. It's kind of a dead end in the same way that this is completely a loop, a complete circuit. So, no, it's not a dead end at all. I'm just stupid. Okay, for some reason that birds all the way down there now. Oh, whoa, that, that guy went zooming over here. Let's see if I can't catch him off guard with a pale swipe. And we did. Now let's go over here and sneak up on this guy as well. And that's it. We did it. We're now level 10. We can now buy all the badges we want from... Battle stamps. Why do I keep calling them badges? Why? But yeah, so now Sadie's full stock should be available to us, and our stats are at max. So there is very little that we will get now from participating in any other battles. Except for more candy and experience, of course, but hey. So let's talk to this last grubbin here. And now we have the grubbin costume. Uh, no, Everett, it's just me, remember? Did I... Did I skip through a bit of dialogue there, or did it just... I don't know. In any case, shortcut back through here, talk to this guy, and... Well, now this is just awkward. Okay, but I, I think now, if I switch costumes, this guy will say different things. Yep, here we go. He'll say different things once you actually have the Grubbin costume. So, now that I actually have that, let's see if he says anything else for each of these different things. I'm gonna have to switch to the other th setting for my controller now, in order to test the other ones. Nope. 
Oh, no, I tried the ninja already. Vampire, nothing. French fry, he'll definitely say something, and it's kind of funny. Uh-huh. Alright, so we can't use the french fry trick to lure him out. And I think cat won't do anything. However, if we switch to a grubbin, which I can't, Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. My D-pad wasn't... I was using the wrong thing. Oh, those silly settings. Talk to him. And we... Yeah, we, we just caught these kids, and we're gonna take them to Dorsilla. Um, I have a cold? Or we could just be a dumb monster. I can't believe he actually bought that. Alright. Yeah, we might get a nice promotion. Or I could switch out of my costume and fooled you. So yes, I did actually realize in that battle that that yes, I didn't realize I had switched costumes. Silly me. Well, whatever. Let's just switch everyone back. And I want to stick with rollerblades because over here we have a nice little area we can only access with the rollerblade costume. And we can get some more candy over here. Not much, but enough. Alright. Oh, that's back that way. Never mind. Let's not go that way. So now we can go over here. Come around this way. And we should be just about home free. What's that sound, though? Like that... Hello, Metzl. Nice to see you again. So, yeah, um... You can actually access your menu while you're waiting for him to come over. Unfortunately, you can't switch costumes, as I just found out, but hey, you can actually switch your battle stamps around, if you please, which I'm actually gonna do. So, since Everett's the ninja, I'll give him the jawbone. Um, no real need to keep the Toxic Slime on Reynolds, since we don't really need the splash damage. But we could give him the Lethal Poison instead. Nah, I'm doing the thing again where I mix up the badges. And that should work. So, yeah, we just gotta wait for Metzl to come on over. Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. And it takes a while to load up this battle as well. Wow. Really, Metzl? Like, why can't you just get a monster truck or something? I mean, I guess that's a monster truck in a sense, but, like, you, you get my point. So, same strategy as always against Metzl. Attack. 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 And attack. And no, you still can't stun him, so there's no real point in using stun. He still does that two-turn charge move, I believe. But, well, by this point, you're going to wipe him out incredibly fast, so it hardly even matters. Like, I think I've almost already got him. Yeah, like, he, he's already dead. And there isn't a second phase this time around. Like, you just take out the dozer and that's it. So, this was a, I guess you could say a fun little battle just to show how much stronger you were since you last fought him. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So now we come out into this area here, and there's candy everywhere. And we even have the sarcophagi here, so if you want to return to any of the previous areas, you can. So let's just kind of go around, pick up all this candy just lying on the ground here. There's more leading up this hill, but let's not go that way yet. Let's head over here first. Pick up the few pieces I missed. And I believe I should have enough to collect the rest of the stamps I'm missing. Now you see this cave here? Switch the knight. Use our shield to go in. I said use our shield to go in. Find another secret chest over here. Now we have 20 more pieces of candy. So... Use a robot costume, zoom down this path. Drop back down and... Okay, I get, did get that piece, never mind. We're back in town! And we can talk to Sadie pretty quickly here. 
So now we have a shortcut back to where we were before. And it looks like we actually had all the stamps available to us at level 9. Well, there you go. We've got all the stamps we can get from Sadie. But there's still one missing. Well, by convention, we should be getting this last one from somewhere, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but I will want that Headless Banshee card for later. Battle stamp. So, first I was calling them badges, and now I'm calling calling them cards. Wow, maybe I should actually take a break. Like, in fact, I'm thinking maybe I should just go ahead and take, a, like, a little break, because clearly my brain isn't working at full capacity here tonight, just because it's so late. So, yeah, like, I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to travel through one of these sarcophagi here to force the game to autosave. And... You know, I want to believe there is supposed to be a way back to the town without getting around these grubbins here. But I guess if you have the ninja, it doesn't really matter, does it? In any case, so I'm traveling back through the sarcophagus. And then once more. And now I'm autosaved to this point. So when we come back next time on Let's Play Costume Quest, we will climb this hill and take on Dorsilla once and for all. This is Solman signing off. Have a good day.